Kyle Shanahan, new head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. You talked about this being basically a lifelong dream. Uh, when we were sitting in your dad's hotel suite two days before Super Bowl 33, you were in high school. Were you dreaming of it then? I always have. You know, I've grown up, you know, football has been, you know, growing up a son of a coach, that's kind of all you know. And being able to hang around NFL players my whole life is, you know, just the way they treated me, being a ball boy, um, the way they picked on me and took care of me. And just it was cool to be around that camaraderie. So something I've always wanted to be around. You know, I've been having football conversations at the dinner table since I was eight years old. There's probably not not a conversation or a dinner that's gone by where eventually my mom or my sister has to tell my dad or I had to shut up. It's not <laughs> football. So it's it's really what I've done my whole life, and it's it's a goal of mine that I've always wanted. And to get this opportunity, it, it's, it definitely feels special, and it's something I, it's hard for me to explain how happy I am about. A lot of people saw this coming. Not very many people saw John Lynch coming. Uh, explain the evolution of that and why it excites you. Uh, just, you know, I think the opportunity Jed gave us to where he wanted to bring in a GM and a head coach together, I thought I thought that was a very special opportunity. Um, you know, I've been around this league enough to know how hard it is to win. Um, I also know how impossible it is to win when you're not on the same page. So for John to reach out to me and tell me how much he missed this type of stuff, missed the camaraderie, missed, missed the winning and losing after a game, and to know that it, he was willing to give up the stuff that he had to come through this grind, to know he's doing it for those reasons, I'll bet on John Lynch any day of the week. The Super Bowl just ended. Do you beat yourself up for the way the last quarter and a half went down? You don't really beat yourself up. You just, that's the that's life of a coach. You go through everything, and, you know, we lost the game, and I believe we should have won it. So every play call that it didn't work, you know, I definitely hold myself accountable to that and look at, oh, man, it's it's not when a run doesn't work, yeah, it should have passed it. When a pass doesn't work, yeah, I should have run it. And what I'm, what I'm happy with and proud of that, Everything we did in that game, we believed in at the time, and I know I did. You can live with the consequences. You can look yourself in the mirror, but uh, that doesn't mean it's not going to be hard for me forever. What excited you about the opportunity to come here? What excited me was just getting to meet Jed and really get to know him as a person and truly see what drives and what his intentions are. And uh, after spending a few days with him, going through the interview process, um, there was no doubt in my mind that he just wants to win and he wants to do it the right way and not everybody makes all the right decisions um, but you want to go with the guy whose intent and the decisions they're trying to make he's doing it for the right reasons and there's no doubt in my mind that all that Jed cares about is winning here and trying to make this place what it used to be good luck uh, in your first official day as head coach appreciate it Mike thanks Kyle all right